there. My name is King Snowboro, the director producer for the documentary film Bread Beyond Borders, The Agege Connection. Enjoy. And don't forget, Agege bread. Bread in Agege. <laughs> I'm experiencing my very first snow. I mean, I've never seen snow before in all of my life. I sit in the movies, but right here. Look at it, the magic is happening right here. My name is King Silboro. I am from Nigeria, West Africa. I hold a bachelor's degree in theater arts from Delta State University, Abraka, and a master's degree from Sikkim Manipal University, India. Describing Nigeria, I would say over 95% of the houses are brick and none have heaters because of the warm climate year-round. Nigeria boasts over 500 languages and over 218 million people. Back home, I have a daughter by the name Olivia. She is six and means the world to me. I cherish every moment spent with her and yes, I miss her dearly. Despite the challenges, Nigerians exude strength, hustling to survive, and that includes me. One remarkable trait is their ability to find joy in life. No matter the circumstances, they are rooted in the communal living spirit. Talking about that communal living in Nigeria, it's an amazing moment for most people because the people are the strength of the country. If you need something, let's say you ran out of pepper or salt and you were like preparing this amazing meal, you could just go over to your neighbor's door, knock or punch the bell right there. They will give it to you. My father would always brag about how his brother would come over to see him, no phone calls, and they'll point out like the biggest chicken, slaughter that chicken, prepare this amazing meal. It's like a feast. Now that I'm in Canada, how can I capture my Nigerian culture that is missing from my life? How can I make Canada feel like home? Maybe it's the food? My favorite food is white rice and stew. White rice paired with anything. You're going to find me there. Coming here, there were a couple of things I looked for when I go to this country. Nigerian restaurants and I get bread. Well, I would say my comfort food is bread and beans. Jesus was right there. He was holding bread and he said, this is the bread of life. He could have said the donut of life, but he said the bread of life. What does that tell you? Bread is life. So when it comes to bread, it just reminds me of my childhood. It's Saturday morning, my mom delegates the jobs. Who's in charge of getting bread? Who's in charge of making the pap? And then the next thing is food. You have your curry, you have your pap, but you just have to have bread. If there's no bread, then it's not a complete meal. Agege bread comes from a small community in the city of Lagos called Agege. Hence the name, Agege Bread. The bakeries owned in Nigeria that produce Agege Bread have been bakeries that have been passed from generation to generation, it's like family-owned businesses. So I would say yes, Agege Bread is deeply etched in community. It's like that cultural connection that brings people together. Bread! Coming here, finding that gay bread was amazing because I feel closer to home, like something I grew up on, I'm able to get here. You could be working like a factory worker, building cement and the brick dust on you, and you see the lady with the agege bread and I like, agege bread! You just get some, eat it, take some water, and you are good for the day. Because in Nigeria, we have like this table where people will have to sit down as a family. And when they do, you know, some would, you know, dip it in tea. Some would have like jam, butter, chocolate. Sometimes you could even put like akara. Yeah, akara is uh, like a bean flour that is fried with oil. The one thing that comes to my mind when I hear a gay bread is my brother and I saving up money to buy extra bread when my mom is not around because obviously if you've had bread in the morning, why are you having bread again? You're not allowed to do that. A gay bread makes me happy, just the softness, the taste. 
while I was at the African store because I go there a lot. I just walk around and try to make sure that I get what will make my bread interesting. In our recipes, first of all, in baking, we do not call them recipes, we call them formulas. And that's why in the last step, it does not say adjust seasoning, because once a bread is baked, it's baked. You cannot adjust anything in there. How a gege bread is made is something I wish I knew. I've never seen anyone make a gege bread from scratch. You know, come to think of it. To me, when you just hear, it's just it, like it falls from the sky. It's just too good. I have tried to make it before. It did come out nice, but not a gege bread. I think it's a secret recipe and I think they should tell us. Something which is dry flour, you mix it with water and yeast and sugar and salt and you convert that into a piece of dough ball which then you know moves from one part from a small dough ball to the leavened dough ball to a bread because there's nothing which is more appealing or salivating than fresh piece of bread is coming straight from that oven. Since I came to Canada, I have had to meet several people from different places, and we have become friends today. We've had laughters, we've had funny moments, eating agege bread. Makes me want more and more and more of those moments. You just have to kind of do things together, then like you have to build a community. That's what I miss about back home. Here, not so much. Everybody's on their own. Nobody wants to invade too much. Nobody wants to come together. Bread is calling me, and I need to ask started the call. What I would really like is for us to build more of a community here. Everybody does not have to be by themselves. We rise by lifting others. Agege bread is more than just a bread. The fact that it comes from a community, that's already a message. That's already something strong. It's made me to realize that I would do this over and over again. You know the matter. Agege bread. Bread, yeah, agege. Agege bread. And through the delicious journey of Agege bread, I found a vibrant community that echoes the warmth and spirit of Nigeria right here in Canada. Good in the Good in the home. Good on the streets. For every one of us. We all need it. And we've got it. Streets for every one of us.